The following program is brought to you in part by Thurston's Jewelry Store, Uptown Minnesota's full-service jewelry store, the Lotus Restaurant, world-famous Vietnamese cuisine, High's Pond Shop, the largest pond shop in Minnesota in business for over 75 years. Marla's Caribbean Cuisine, serving authentic food of Trinidad, Tobago, Jamaica, and the Caribbean Islands. Hi, I'm CJ, and I'm here with Fancy Ray to celebrate a very special occasion, his 20th year in comedy. How did you become Fancy Ray? Well, they wanted to find the eighth wonder of the world. They searched from Moscow to Madrid. They went to some places that were sacred, others that were forbid. Like the Aztec ruins under the Great Pyramid, they found a tablet which read Beauty Barkett, and they knew the eighth wonder of the world was me, Fancy Ray, the human chocolate orchid. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. I'm Fancy Ray with CJ, and tonight we're going to get down with it. <laughs> my, my, my. I said, and get down away. Hi, I'm CJ. I'm here with Fancy Ray. How in the world did you become Fancy Ray? CJ, it is such a pleasure to be here on this fantastic occasion. Me celebrating my 20th anniversary in comedy. How did I become Fancy Ray? That's a very, very good question. How did I become so good looking? How did I become so outspoken? How did I become so me? The answer to that is quite simple. I am you. I'm you. I'm everybody. Fancy Ray is in everybody. There's a little bit of Fancy Ray in all of us. Yes, it is. See, because what I believe, CJ, is this. There were all manifestations of God. All of us are God individualized. So when I say I am the best looking man in comedy, that's God. When I say I'm the human chocolate orchid, that's God. When I say you're beautiful and I like to make love, that's just me trying to get you closer to the Lord. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I'm not just talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Buddha, Allah, Muhammad, the Blue Oster Cult, Delta Schwarzenegger, and the Pope, baby. Praise the Lord. You hear me okay? Yeah, all those guys, they're all here, and they're here to heal. Uh -huh. Who needs to be healed today? Me, me, me. All right, come up here, daughter. Okay, this next one. Her name's Melissa. Your name is Melissa. Yes! Yes! Oh, he's having convulsions! Oh. Thank you, Lord! Thank yeah. you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Bye, bye, bye! Now, I started in show business. Actually, I was in second grade. I was a ventriloquist at a ventriloquist dial. You were the ventriloquist? <laughs> You were dummy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay. I've been known as a dummy, and I've been known as yummy. And if you would see Fancy Ray, come and get yourself something. You know what I'm saying? Lord have mercy. But the thing started in second grade, and it's always been inside of me this joy to entertain. And I had a special gift that I believe was God-given. And that's the part that connects with people. When folks see me on TV, there's a connection and a synergy that takes place. The folks feel like they know me. They feel me. They love me as I love them because we connect and we're all one. I've had the great pleasure of working with some of the biggest names in show business. Some of the names. Give me I'm, some idea and, with whom you've worked. And, and I'm not even saying this necessarily, CJ, to drop names, but just to kind of give you the level of people that I've had the great pleasure of working with. Uh, uh, Richard Pryor is a gentleman I had the pleasure of working with. Uh, uh, George Wallace was a person I opened up for. The great, great, great Chris Rock. And I tell you, you remember when I worked with Little Richard? You want to hear my Little Richard story? Yes. Uh, let me tell you a Little Richard story. Little Richard was performing at Grand Casino in Hinkley, Minnesota. And of course, I had to go to the event. As soon as I get there, I realize instantaneously that Little Richard and I are the two most beautiful people in the whole place. Okay. He puts on this fantastic concert. He sang Good Golly, Miss Molly, Long Tall Sally, all these wonderful old hits. At the end of the show, he starts singing, it's time to go. I got to go. Woo! So I move in front of the stage, and right in front of Little Richard, I start impersonating him. I start going. He looks at me and says, you, come up here, come up here. I'm walking on stage, and I'm going to meet the architect, the man that invented rock and roll. 
I get on stage, and Little Richard starts smiling at me. And the song Tutti Frutti starts going through my brain. <laughs> my, 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 my. How about we take a look at a clip and come back? Okay, I think this is a good idea. <laughs> my, we're going to be right back with CJ and Fancy Ray. Don't go nowhere. We got a lot of history to come. Come on now. My, my, my. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> my, my, my pleasure to be here tonight. It's cold in Minnesota. <laughs> a lot of folks here like wintertime, don't you? <laughs> by applause. Who truly loves wintertime by applause? <laughs> See, that's Minnesota for you. Some folks in Minnesota can't wait for winter to come. They get so excited about winter every year, they run up when they think it's frozen lakes, crash through the ice, freeze, and drown. <laughs> For months you hear this on the news. When is it safe to go on the ice? When is it safe to go on the ice? I wrote a letter myself. I said, soon as you see black folks out there ice fishing. <laughs> see, they get that joke, see black people don't ice fish. Although we have been known to drink in shacks. <laughs> like every year my friends ask me to go deer hunting. <laughs> That's the last thing Lord, I want to do. Go out in the middle of the woods with some drunk white guys are right. <laughs> See, you may get away with it. Honestly, it wasn't accident. <laughs> Now, you started out, you had, a, you had a cable access show. Television show was started in 1989 here at the Minneapolis Telecommunications Network. And what we did was that we put on a television show that showcased Minneapolis. Remember, I am Minneapolis. I'm, I went to the West High School, Central High School, Marshall U High School. I'm from this area. And when folks come from Chicago, Indiana, they see me and say, that brother's the real deal. He's a real soul brother who's got that heart and that soul and that drive. And with the TV show, we manifested great entertainment. We had folks on like yourself. And then uh, 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 something that happened was locally, we had all the local celebrities on. And the show that really put me over, now this is going back for folks out there watching, was a show we did with Brian Coyle, Minneapolis City Councilman, mm -hmm. who was the first public official who had AIDS and came out and announced he had AIDS. And the last interview that he ever did was on my show mm -hmm. because he said my audience was the folks he wanted to reach. And what happened is he wasn't talking to no one else in the media. And that gave me an incredible credibility that this man of so high esteem picked my show to be the last show that he appeared on. And that was fantastic. And then later we went on and we had, and then I started doing like national celebrities and we had everyone on like Tiny Tim mm -hmm. and Donny Osmond and Jean Claude Van Damme and Whoopi Goldberg and all the big stars, they'd come to town. And the question was, how does this guy on cable access television get all these big stars to come down and be part of his show? And what, I, what do you think it is, CJ? Do, do you remember what Donny Osmond said when you turned up in his <laughs> When Donny Osmond, he said the same thing you said. You're beautiful. No, he didn't. He said, how'd you get in here? <laughs> <laughs> like this. Now sideways, ready to go. Oh, Fred Willard, y'all, give it up. Ooh, I know it looks good. I'm the prettiest thing out here in comedy. You used to be the best looking man in comedy. No, 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 no. Stand I... aside, homeboy. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Thomas, have you seen someone in Hollywood as pretty as I am? I'm the best looking man in comedy. Oh, well, I was about to say the same thing. You took the words right out of my mouth. I heard you. Your mom was so ugly. The most romantic thing she ever heard was turn over and face the wall and don't say nothing. I know you didn't say that about my mama. Your mama's so ugly, she went to an ugly contest, and she, she won face down. <laughs> the man said, I'm sorry, we don't take professionals. <laughs> George Clinton here, super bad parliament funkadelic. Roo. Roo. The dog, Roo. Can I do that one time when she just go, Roo. Roo. George Clinton, oh, my, 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 my. A group of pretty things took their name from a song of your old pretty thing. Right, right, they did. That should have been a song about me. <laughs> <laughs> Henny, now you're the king of the one-liners. I like to do a one-liner for Go you. Go ahead. They say life's a bowl of cherries. You know so, what? So? I say someone's got to be the whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really, yeah, very good. Beginner's luck. <laughs> <laughs> Is he decent back here? 
Is he decent? Donnie O, come on back here. Here he is, Mr. Osmond. How you doing? Fancy Ray, the best looking man in comedy today with the cable television show Get Down With It. Say hello to the Twin Cities, Mr. Osmond. Who let you in? <laughs> uh, I, I thought I thought it, uh, that everything was okay. They okay? I know who you. I saw you on TV the other day. You did? Yeah. What did you think? It was terrible. <laughs> so Give me your name again. Fancy Ray, the best looking man in comedy today. Okay. You enjoying yourself? Did you give yourself that name? Huh? Did you give yourself no, that actually, name? Actually, what was bestowed on me, as good looking as I am, you know, the mm -hmm. beauty and joy and happiness that's inside, and the world just saw me and said, he is the best. Don't you think that I'm the best? <laughs> Donnie was a good guy. Something that I have, and the same thing that you have, is I have a genuine warmth that connects with people. See, when folks see me on the TV commercials, they see that and they can feel that, but they gotta understand there's a history and an energy and a background that makes that possible. This warmth that you think you have mm -hmm. is communicating with I don't think it I have it. If you sit closer to me, you'll feel it too. That's okay. You I'm, can feel I'm, it right now. I'm, I'm sure you can. I'm too close as it is. Love have mercy. <laughs> Is that what deluded you into running for governor? Running for governor? <laughs> now that was something else. <laughs> See, Ray McClowney wants to be your next governor. He'd be Minnesota's first governor named Fancy. He'd be Minnesota's first governor named Ray. We want to do here in the inner city. We want to lift folks up. We want to give you an opportunity to succeed. And with Fancy Ray, the state of Minnesota can not succeed. I want to represent you, Minnesota, Fancy Ray McClowney, the people's champion. You heard the man. Thank, Thank you, Lou Hartman. Thank you so much. <laughs> When I ran for governor, I took a stand for poor people here in the state of Minnesota. Little black kids and white kids and yellow kids, folks that the system had forgotten about. I wanted to lift up all of Minnesota and let everyone succeed because Minnesota was doing good at that time. Remember, now the economy's been in a rough period right now, but at that time it was doing great. And I had a great thing that a lot of the black leaders got around me and said, Fancy Ray, if you're going to do this, run for governor, you got to represent, you can't be out there acting like a buffoon. So the whole time I've been running my mouth talking about how good looking I am, but when it came to the election, I sat down, got information, and articulated the concerns of poor people in Minnesota. And it was fantastic. It was one of the greatest things I ever did. Let's take out another clip. Okay. <laughs> The only exception is me. Because I got the moves, the grooves, the looks, and this incredibly charming personality. Now, someone asked me about Maury Povich, and I had to bite my tongue. Because, Maury, you are my hero. Oh, why? No, Ray, now Two words. Why? Tiny Chung. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> my, 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 my. Woo, Lord have mercy. I said, and get down. wanted to advertise contact you or did you contact them how did you get into the advertising business it was kind of like the way i found you i think it was just meant to be oh please <laughs> what happened was when when i ran for governor folks said this guy is more than just some loud mouth he can actually articulate a message that reaches people and so someone said hey we're gonna hire this guy to do a commercial everyone's heard my commercial you know this one here if you have bad credit no credit, even a bankruptcy, I could put you in a vehicle today. <laughs> That's me. And I've done commercials for car lots, health food stores, jewelry stores. I always say if you got something to sell, I can sell it. That's my line. You almost got your leg bitten off by the crocodile hunter, though, didn't you? <laughs> well, the crocodile hunter, that was one that got me in a lot of trouble. For an adult bookstore in downtown Minneapolis, I impersonated the crocodile hunter. <laughs> and it got me in a lot of trouble. I was like, good day, mates. Today we're going to ultimate adult adventure at the bookstore. And the Discovery Channel 
which owns the animal planet, threatened to sue me over that commercial. They demanded we take it off the air because they were afraid people might confuse me with the actual crocodile hunter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Not even in the dark. <laughs> it could happen, CJ. No, no, it no. could happen. <laughs> Movie lovers, I want to talk about written videotapes. Yes, there's a lot of places to rent videos, but doggone it, I'm talking about the place that City Pages rated number one. We apologize for eccentric wrestling stars with funny names and an angry way of presenting themselves. This is Fancy Ray for Highs Pond Shop. If you need quick cash in your pocket for rent, your car, or baby mama drama, Highs will buy or give you a loan for anything. Elsa's is your full-service furniture store. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Pond Daddy. Pond Daddy is Fancy Arizona's number one pawn shop. <laughs> Hi, this is Fancy Ray for USI Wireless. Hi, this is Fancy Ray for Harold Penner's Clothing Store here in St. Louis. Man of Fashion has the greatest fashion at the lowest prices. I should know. <laughs> and then I moved out to Los Angeles. That's spent the last five years out in Los Angeles and had just an incredible run. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks don't realize all the stuff I did out there. I was on the t Tonight Show two times. Okay. Do your best joke, real quick, a real quick joke, and then your name. I am the best looking man. I look so good. I put my face on a post-it fancy just so I can lick myself. My, my, my. Fancy Ray McCloney, the best looking man in comedy. I was on Last Comic Standing, America's Got Talent, and that was an incredible thing there, to be on America's Got Talent. You got roughed up a little bit there, though. Yeah, I did, and then Sharon Osbourne. Right. You know, I saw Kelly Osbourne in concert. Talk about talented. <laughs> no, not her. Me standing to listen to that stuff <laughs> like an hour. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you the truth. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Fancy Ray McCloney, I am the best looking man in comedy. Y'all like you do you like my hairdo, CJ? Um, no. I call this the butted hairdo, the butted hairdo, darling. How do you spell that? See, because I'm brown like a pancake. My personality is like, so ooh, that's the butter on top. Mm, just let your eyeballs eat me up. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my. We having a good time up in here. This is Marla's Caribbean Cuisine. Marla's brings the best of Trinidad and Tobago to the Twin Cities. Golden rice. She left her career because her passion was to come down here and serve food to the folks of South Minneapolis. I came saltfish ready. Caribbean food at its best. I say it's the first, the last, the best, and the most. It's right in the heart of the Twin Cities, but the flavor's coast to coast. <laughs> we got a black president. A couple of years ago, a black head coach won the Super Bowl. I wonder what's left for black people to do. I got it. Head of the Catholic Church. <laughs> Pope Daddy number one. Could have his own record label, limousine service, and clothing line. Pope ain't easy, but somebody got to do it. Man, One of the things that brought you back to the Twin Cities was your son, Trayvon. Yeah. And despite the fact that I'm always ripping on you, I do give you credit for being a wonderful father to that boy. Well, I, I tell you, the, the, the biggest joy in my life is being a father. Because remember, all of this, we are all connected. We're all connected. When I talk about that I'm working on behalf of this universal energy, whatever you want to call it, it's running through me and it reaches out and touches people, but it also runs through me in my blood with my son. And my son is a part of me, and he's a part of you. So we want to love our children. We want to lift them up and give them the best foundation so they can be successful. And I'm telling you that there's no greater joy in the world than my boy. They canceled his Christmas commercial. I have the ability to get their message across to the prospective customers like this. If you have bad credit, no credit, even a bankruptcy, I can put you in a vehicle today. 
I think I've seen his commercial. You got more souls than a bowl of chitlins on Christmas Day. Oh. See, when you see Fancy Ray, you got Fancy Ray, who's his own entity, but when you see Fancy Ray, you've got the influence of Little Richard. You see the James Brown. You see Muhammad Ali. You see Al Green. You see the great, gorgeous George. You got them all wrapped up in this beautiful chocolate package that's right here in Minneapolis. I'm one of you. You are one of me. We are together in the Twin Cities. When Fancy Ray's successful, you're successful. When I have highs, you have highs. Come be a part of the Fancy Ray world, and I hope to see you. I said, and get down. Man, I think today's wedding for me was a terrific honor to be part of a celebration, a ceremony that brought two hearts together that truly, truly love each other. And to play the role and be the officiant is a blessing from God. The poem is about love. It says, what does love got to do with it? I say everything. Love brought these two together, and they are both a king and a queen. It's love that creates the mountains and makes the rivers flow. Love makes the birds chirp and the beautiful flowers grow. It's love that keeps families together, even when they're far, far apart. It's love that will send you to a, a strip mall in a snowstorm to get dog food from a pet park. Love makes you happy, and love makes you grow. Love makes you thirsty for jobs, for things you didn't know you didn't even know. Love gave you life and will take your physical body away. Love makes mothers beautiful, even after they're old and gray. Love can be found in the depths of oceans and the redwood trees that stand tall. Love makes babies, and we all know children are the greatest love of all. Love can be called life. God, Jehovah, Allah, Mother Earth, wind or sound, love is all there is, and love makes the world go round. <laughs> now, if you feel the love like you know I do, put your hands in there and tell Ken and Jeff, I love you. <laughs> you may now kiss your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Clay Hack, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say to my fans, who are my friends, I love you. Thank you for watching. If you want someone to officiate your wedding, I'm available. If you want someone to shake your hand, I'm available. If you want some love, come and give me a hug. Write me, call me, text me, fax me, and know that I am here. I'm of service to the world. Fancy Ray isn't for Minneapolis. It ain't for Los Angeles. It ain't for New York. Fancy Ray is universal. Love is the biggest thing in the world, and I am part of that love. And I want you to know that I'm here for you. Fans, I love you. I look forward to seeing you and touching you in person. My, 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 Fancy Ray is love. I don't, I don't do no dance. I no, no, but no, just try it one time, one oh, time, Kirby. Why don't you get Herbie or something? Come on, just try it. Like that. <laughs> Come on, Kirby. Kirby, bring it, y'all. <laughs> this is a little fun. How many Fancy Rays does it take to screw in the light bulb? Right. One, there's only one got dog on fancy right <laughs> I am the best looking man in comedy. How many fancy rays does it take to put a man on the moon? Right. One, there's only one fancy ray of a phony. Now need everybody looking on the last one. Everybody please help me. How many fancy rays does it take to make love to 1,000 women? One. That's right, but it takes me two nights. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying Fancy Ray's 20th anniversary comedy special. Before we go any further, I want to take this opportunity to thank my fantastic underwriters, the folks who made this show possible, and ask you, the viewers, to support these businesses. Thurston's Jewelry Store, a full-service jewelry store. Wedding rings, loose diamonds, jewelry repair, and watch batteries installed while you wait.
the Lotus Restaurant, my favorite Asian restaurant for over 20 years, offering world-famous pho, spring rolls, and traditional Vietnamese dishes. High's Pond Shop, Minnesota's largest pond shop in business for over 75 years. For gold, electronics, or car accessories, High's has the best deals in town. Marla's Caribbean Cuisine, serving authentic food of Trinidad, Tobago, Jamaica, and the Caribbean Islands. Delicious roti, jerk chicken, and vegetarian dishes. Featured on drive-ins, diners, and dives. And when you go see the underwriters, do me a favor, walk in the door, and say my name three times. Say Fancy Ray, Fancy Ray, Fancy Ray, three times, so they know that you saw them on this program, and you are supporting them for supporting me. I thank you in advance. I love you. Stay tuned and get down with it. I said, get down <laughs> Langer? He just, just pissed me off. Last week we were supposed to be going to get some brews and go check out the Nudie shows, but as usual, he didn't show up. And I was ready to get me one of them Texas style couch dances. You know, that's when they put you on the couch, they put them big boobs in your face, and they start riding you like a long horse. <laughs> Woo! Next time I see him, I'm going to get him one of the Minnesota style couch dances. You know, that's when they set you on the couch, the lights go out, ooh, and then they start, mosquitoes start biting your ass all over. All right, now I want to know, did y'all ladies learn anything today? Yes, lady. You think? Ha! Thinking is stinking, and your ship will be sinking. You got to learn to know if you want your tree to grow. I think we're on the right track. Class dismissed. So we took the knees for a consultation aid, but no, 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 then my main dog, the pimp of all pimps, Mr. Fancy Ray. She need to go see them. They got some dermatologists, and maybe two of them the way they're looking like this. That's right, two nose jobs. Two nose jobs. She need a nose job, a lip job, an eyebrow lift, and some liposuction on her cheek. I'm telling you, man, yeah. they need some help. It's almost safe to bring your children back in the room because we're about at the end of our show here. Uh, you have one more poem, and my only regret is that I left my earplugs in the car. Go ahead. <laughs> this is a poem that I want to send out to every man, every boy, every girl in the Twin Cities. It's for black, white, red, brown, and yellow. It lifts everybody up with this optimistic poem of joy. Just get Love. to the point. Get to the point. Get it to the says, point. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. A diamond and a pearl. The beauty of a boy ooh, with the sweetness of a girl. I'm like a rocket ship zooming towards the sky. I'm baseball hot dogs and apple pie. I'm a Picasso in a museum that can't be touched. I'm a little kid skip rope in the park doing a double dutch. I'm a man in the ocean, swim to be free. I'm mango cactus in a sycamore tree. My heart is beating in my chest. It tells me out loud that I am the best. My looks are diamonds, my jokes are pearls. I am the best looking man in comedy, and I'm on top of the world. I love you and have a good night. My, my, my. Oh. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure being your prop today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your prop every day. <laughs> CJ, Star Tribune, Fox Channel 9 News. Come out and see Fancy Ray live. Love you, Twin Cities. Have a good night. CJ, come on now. Come on and dance with me. Come on and get some Fancy Ray. There'll, there'll be come no on, dancing. There'll, fancy be, there'll be no come on, getting get any Fancy, fancy Ray. Ray. No. Come on and get some Fancy Ray. <laughs>